Hello there, this is going to be a general love reading for all signs. I just recorded Sagittarius reading. I recorded Libra's reading a few days ago. I haven't uploaded it yet though, but it's coming. Um, and in fact, in Sag reading, I talked about the bees. I keep seeing bees everywhere. Everywhere. And I went shopping today and look at what I found. Look at how cute. It's like a spoon holder. But you see how it's the flower with the bees? And it was only eight bucks from Marshalls. Um, I bought it for my mom actually because she likes yellow, but I think I might keep it for myself because it's so adorable. But anyways, the point in that was I was seeing bees nonstop, right? And I was like, what the fuck, what the fuck? And it reminded me of the quote that you guys have heard me say for years. I heard it somewhere, it's not my quote. It was, I don't know who said it. Um, the flower doesn't dream of the bee. It just blossoms and the bee comes. The bees are coming. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, you can hear I'm stalling because I'm trying to find the right deck to use. I can touch the deck and feel it and I know and that's why you guys always see me kind of touching all the decks and bullshitting around when I'm opening up a reading. Um, We're going to say la vie. We're going to do say la vie first. That's what I'm feeling. So yeah, I mean, it's really symbolic, right? About the feminine coming into full bloom, coming into her light, her energy, and you attracting in the bees. Angelic protection and new love. I told you the bees are coming. I fucking told you. The angelic protection here feels like you and your person, okay, whoever this is that you're meant to be with, you guys are divinely protected. You can actually see on the card itself, there's two feathers. These are, you guys are probably mirrored. I don't know what's crazy is I feel like whatever angel you guys have been assigned, this is a particular archangel too, I can feel it. You guys have the same archangel that is assigned to the both of you and probably been assigned to the both of you on purpose because you guys are counterparts. Something tells me it's Archangel Michael too, but Archangel Michael could just be one of the ones in the mix somehow, but it's, that's whose name came to mind. A new door opens. A new exciting door opens. But you see how you can't see who it is yet? Uh, that didn't get past me. Maybe you didn't meet yet. Or maybe if you already know this person, they didn't open the door yet. You know what I mean? New discovery, well, bitch, you just about to find out. It's funny how I said that. That like you don't know who it is yet and then you have new discovery. You're about to find out. Soul connection. Why did I hear two peas in a pod? Reminiscing. I wish some nights lasted forever. Duh, twin flame. That's why I heard two peas in a fucking pod. Mm-hmm. It landed on new discovery. And I think for many, what you're realizing is it's not the thing that we thought it was. Right, what we're finding now is that the twin flame journey we've been on took us down a rabbit hole to think these catalysts and these karmic partners was it. But during that process of going through all of those relationships, we learned the art of self-love. And now we're at this really, not, not everybody, but those of you who did the work are at an elevated vibration. You don't accept crumbs, you know your fucking worth. And you're gonna attract what you are that's why it's a mirror soul. That's a twin flame soul. Two peas in a pod. Forbidden. Something's forbidden. Something could be off limits. Distress. Someone's fucking stressed and pressed about that. See, it tells you, you know, you know your worth, self love. But see that? The distress landed on forbidden. Are you co workers? Is it against policy to date? Are you friends and you're afraid that that's going to fuck it up if you guys get out of the friend zone? 
right? Why is it forbidden? I don't know, but he's stressed about that. Got love offer though. That's what they really want to do. They want to extend a love offer. Luscious and mouth watering. Gee, I wonder if they're attracted to you. Yeah, they think you're fucking mouth watering. They think you're absolutely sexy as hell. You're delectable. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, but they can only fantasize about that because it's off limits. It's forbidden somehow. But is it forbidden? Something tells me it's not. In their mind, they might think it is. Like, I can't because we work together. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. We, I can't because we're friends and I don't know if they feel the same way. You know, like, why do I feel like I have amnesia? What cards did we use first? How fucking weird is that? Like, I can't even remember. That's strange, bitch. I remember everything when I'm doing these readings. I mean, I don't remember my own name sometimes when I'm channeling, but holy shit balls. How fucking weird is that? C'est la vie. I use the C'est la vie. Holy shit. Three swords. Their fear is that, right? Look. Their fear is they will offer, show interest, and you'll reject them. They're nervous about that. They're fearful. That's why they've been waiting. Three of Wands. They've been waiting to feel it out. Waiting to take a leap of faith. I mean, they are, they're coming up as an emperor. Here they are right here. Big dick energy. This is not a fucking coward. Mm-mm. It's not, it's a boss, it's an entrepreneur, it's a leader, they're aggressive, they're initiators, right? They, they go after it, they're fearless, they're God of war. But the reason that they're not going pedal to the metal with you is because they're fearful. They're afraid they will be rejected. Bottom of the deck's a two of swords. Somebody's not gonna see something coming. Somebody's not going to see something coming. Six of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. See, that's what you don't see coming. Look at it. It comes out of left field. This is Sparta. Oh, King Dangalang. Oh, the move they make is going to be so fucking sudden. So fucking unexpected. She's not going to see it coming. She's not going to see it coming. For some of you, this is meeting someone brand fucking new, out of the blue. Boom, one day, you go to the bank, there they are. Start a new job, there they are. You're traveling, you go to the airport, and you sit down, there they are. Okay, it's sudden, unexpected. Now, for those of you that this person is already existing in your life, they've been doing this. Their lips have been sealed. Their mouth has been sealed shut. They haven't been communicating this. There's a deep soul connection here. Six of Cups, right? Past life. You guys already have this weird sort of firm foundation connection already. And it's because the souls are very old friends. Especially if you're twin souls, right? That means you guys would have had lives together, past lives. Three of Pentacles, some kind of work connection. This, you see this reading, it feels weird. I can't pinpoint it, you know, I think because it's so unexpected. Something about the energy, when I'm trying to channel it, I almost just feel like they're not telling me everything and I can feel like something's wrong or, not that something's wrong, but I can, I feel like something's missing. You know that kind of a feeling? We're, we're fucking FBI detectives and we're intuitive and super fucking psychic, basically. And we can just tell something, they're holding something back that for me reading this. You have the breakthrough. Something is revealed. There is a breakthrough in this connection. The crow, an omen, magic, and an announcement. It's 
it's going to blow you back so much look at the card itself it's such a gorgeous card you see how the crow lands on the woman and she gets blown back because remember you're not going to expect this whatever this breakthrough is or whatever this new thing is it's going to blow you away it's going to blow you away shocking oh my god locked gate yeah see forbidden maybe that's a thing something that was off limits or forbidden is not off limits and forbidden anymore so for some of you maybe you counted this option out black cat magic luck and supernatural somebody here has got real witchy vibe probably the feminine real witchy but see how the cat's eyes are glowing i mean is it glowing from the light the breakthrough do they see something first and then a breakthrough happens right that's what it looks like is this symbolic of the feminine's light and the masculine sees it does does your light activate them it's all in the eyes it's all in the it's all in the touch skull death rebirth and transformation and self-sacrificial with sacrifice Talks about exhausted and depleted. This is weird. I feel like they're blocking me. I'm not even joking. If you're watching my live I just did yesterday, actually last night, XI underscore Missy underscore XI. Remember it was hours long and towards the ending of it, the weirdest shit happened. All of a sudden, the comments stopped. And, and I was like, something's wrong. Because when I'm on lives, I was always c contact, always c comments going on, 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 right? So if it's crooked, something's wrong. It's off. And I wasn't frozen. And so I was like, what the fuck? Something's happening. How come, how come there's no comments, right? I wanted somebody to communicate with me. So I had a couple of uh, people text me and say, no, we can see it. And I was like, what the fuck you mean you can see the comments? I can't. And so they were screenshotting it to me. And I was like, holy fuck, the comments are showing and they could comment each other and they could read all the comments. Guess who couldn't read the comments? Isn't that weird? This never happened to me before on, on a live and I've done, I've done lives on Instagram for years. That's never happened before. So why are they masking us? Why, do, why are they trying to blindfold us? High priestess energy, right? High priestess is keeper of secrets, but sometimes we're not privy to know everything. And I always just feel like that right now. I feel like, I mean, it is a new moon too, right? New moons are all about hidden. Because you look up in the sky, you can't see the moon, but doesn't mean it's not there. Something just tells me they're trying to like, they're trying to not really block us per se, but strength leo the sun double leo sun is awakening and enlightenment nine of wands told you he awakens look at him he goes from being you know not open not vulnerable to seeing the light the awakening the sun they they awaken and remember the eyes were glowing in the cat card something about this masculine he has some kind of an awakening or he sees the light but bitch i think he see you he has to have the strength of a lion he has to have the strength of a lion to be open and vulnerable three of coins it's some kind of work thing here there's another work card it's platonic, it's friendship, it's business related. There's judgment. Ooh, feeling the call. See how it's the rabbit is blowing the horn and they're all rising up. Hearing the call. God, it's like they hear the call. Do, 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 do. You know that kind of thing? Like they just hear the call, they heed it. There's a fucking moon, that's secret. Told you, it's secretive, it's very strange energy. So the moon is Pisces, it's secret emotions, it's deceptive, it's illusionary. 
something about dreaming in, in many of these cards there's a pocket watch there's something about time I mean I have channeled for years they come at the midnight hour but there's something about time the hierophant he won't leave the bottom of the deck the king of swords king of swords is somebody who is I mean strictly business It's forbidden, strictly business, right? They're very aloof, emotionally detached. At least that's how, the way they would come across. They warm up with the sun. The king of swords warms up. They feel this call. They feel this pull. They may dream something. They, I feel like they daydream too. I heard they miss you. If you guys already know each other, they miss you. And if you haven't met yet, then obviously that you haven't met yet. Huh. This card is hysterical to me. Look at how he's being dramatic. It's a nine of cups. He's like, oh, four swords. They were sleeping. They were, they were, they were fucking unawakened. Jesus Christ, this is, ah, the, it's an eclipse. We're in eclipse season already. Anytime from now until maybe a couple weeks after the eclipse, maybe in a couple months. Because eclipse energy usually lasts about mm, six months or so. It depends, uh, depends on the eclipse. On one of my lives, if not just the one I did yesterday, I talked about that. That in the Edgar, in fact, it was yesterday. Because in Edgar Allan Poe's deck, I had the sun and the moon. And before I had the sun and the moon, I had the tower card. And there was a blood red moon in it. And I said that that's the eclipse. There's something about the eclipse. Sure enough, sun and moon comes out. Um, it's the eclipse. And what I felt in there was that their heart would crack open. They were sleeping and unawakened to this connection. Something about the sun. They see it. They see it. And boom, they awaken. They awaken to it. They warm up to it. They get it. They get it. I heard it again. Someone misses you. Bitch, that's what I heard. Okay, we're going to go with that. That's what I heard. Someone misses you. Someone's thinking about you. Gee, I wonder who. Fucking king of pentacles. He's got a pentacle there. He wants commitment. He want, I heard he wants to make things right. For some of you, there's something about making things right. They want to offer something. They want to make things stable. Yeah, Ace of Swords, there's a fucking breakthrough. It's also communication. They want to break the ice if you guys are in no communication. They want to communicate. Wow, in reverse. Hanged man in reverse. The wait is over. If you've been in non-communication, the wait is over. Look at it. It's coming up. Counterparts, king and queen of pentacles. Something about spring. See how they have all those pentacles and flowers around them? All I can think of is spring. Spring love, come back to me. God, Stevie B used to be the shit when I was a kid. Holy fuck. Party your body and spring love was the shit when I was a kid. They don't make music like that anymore, I'll tell you that. Yeah, these are counterparts. Something about spring. I mean, it's Eastery. Look, there's an Easter bunny there with the, the flowers. Something about Easter. That is the end of this month. Maybe that's when they see it. Maybe that's when they feel they miss you. Six of Wands. And the Four of Wands. They want some kind of fucking lockdown victory. They want to lock you down. They know that you are fucking delicious. You are the prize. You are successful. They know it. Look at that. That's like commitment. It's marriage. It's also 1111, right? Twin flame number. Twin, soul, twin souls, mirror souls. High priestess secret. 
She's keeper of secrets. I'm telling you, you know my head feels foggy. I'm not even bullshitting you. And I'm an intuitive motherfucker. You guys know that. If you watch all my readings, you know it. I get in the motherfucker. I go in from the side. The, I, I, I mission impossible from the fucking top if I got to. I'll be picking the locks if I got to do it. I'm telling you, they're blocking me from something major. I can feel it. My head's foggy. Maybe because it's it's any second. Maybe because it's any second that, oh God, I just got the chills in my, I felt like a hot heat in my chest. I fucking swear to God. I fucking swear to God. I, had a, I felt hot in my chest. I was going to say maybe it's because it's any second. And because it's le like legitimately any second, they want us, they want to be as vague as possible so that we don't have too much information. So I don't give you too much information. Head over heels in communication. Sorry, my eyelash is poking the fuck out of my eye. <sighs> Ring-a-ling-ling-ling. -ling -ling. Someone's going to communicate. Or you will finally be in communication, a.k.a. meeting this person. You have head over heels. If this is existing, they are strung over you. Non-stop thinking about you. Non-stop. They're going to communicate soon, too. Could be by Easter or Easter weekend. Because I don't know, man, that fucking spring energy. And then I saw the, the bunny rabbit in there with the goddamn flowers. Just made me think of Easter. I don't know. Adoration. My eyes adore you. Though I never laid a hand on you. My eyes adore you. Remember the eyes again? What is this? Healer. They're going to reach out, bitch. Bitch, they're going to reach out. They're going to fucking reach out. I'm, it was 22, 22, and I looked at the timer over there. It could be like a bullshit excuse too. You know what I'm saying? Because so I'm not saying they're going to reach out and, and, and fucking give you a love confession. I don't exactly know what they're going to reach out and do. God, they're blocking me so much too. See, I'm not just a tarot card reader, right? I'm a channeler. I'm intuitive. I'm, I tap into the energy. And although I can feel what the energy is, I can tell when they are also blocking me from shit. I can just feel it in my head. It feels foggy. If I try too hard to try and like feel it, I get headachey. I know the difference. This is why with some people when I try and read them, like personal readings and I get this feeling, I can't do their reading. For a paid client, I don't trust it. I won't do it. General readings, I'll keep pushing through because it's free 99, bitch. If I couldn't, if if I couldn't even channel at all, I wouldn't have even come live. I'm um, excuse me, record, you know. So I know I'm tapping into the energy, but they're withholding. Is my point? They're withholding, and them cutting off my goddamn comments last night at the tail end of my um, Instagram live. You can't make it up. This communication is what they don't want us to see coming. I don't know why they don't. They don't want it. They don't want you to see it coming. Uh, 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 when you meeting? Romantic. Deja vu and hidden truths. Yeah, they're hiding shit. I'm telling you right fucking now. Not only is spirit hiding things from me channeling it, but this person, if you have a person already existing, they have not been speaking their truth. They've hid their fucking feelings and it's time to cough it up. I've got I, I, the deja vu card. I got to tell you last night I was sitting on the couch. I stood up to go do something in the kitchen. I had the most major fucking deja vu. And I thought, and was, I was thinking about a particular person. 
And I had the most major fucking deja vu in that moment. It was the most, probably one of the strongest deja vu moments I've had in a very, very, very long time, if ever. So when I tell you right now, timelines are shifting and, 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 and things are merging and sort of slipping like this, right? Or, or for us feeling and seeing things or whatever this is, it's at an all time high is my point. The, the deja vu I had last night, I mean, it was, whoa. You know one of those where you were just like, oh, like I'm not even kidding. I stood up, I started walking to the kitchen and right before I even hit in the kitchen, it was like, boom. And I just saw it in my head. And I was like, holy fuck, this is insane. So that could be also why. Maybe it, maybe spirit's not blocking me. Maybe it's just because we're in this weird period of time where like the, the timelines are just like overlapping or something. I don't know. But my God tell me they're blocking me too because I mean, we do have hidden truths. Provocative. The stock, they keep thinking about how sexy you are or they keep thinking about the last time they saw you. They keep thinking about the last time they saw you and how beautiful you looked. They're thinking about, you know, your pictures, if they were looking at your pictures. Something about the something about you though. The way you look. They think you're sexy. They're very attracted to you. Yeah, you know, stimulating. You stimulate them. It's also stimulating deja vu. They're, they're, they, they're experiencing a lot of deja vu as well. Hypnotized, hypnotized by the moon. Didn't I say that? That that moon card, he was hypnotized. Vacation. Hmm. Elusiveness. The thing about vacation is it's kind of like that energy of somebody relaxing and letting their hair down, huh? If it's not a literal vacation some of you are going on, it gives the, it gives, it's like taking a break, time off, letting your hair down, relaxing, retreating, you know, that kind of a vibe. But the elusiveness is about something that was hiding is coming forward. Or something that was hidden is being revealed. Something that was hiding or hidden is being revealed. Why do I feel like it's going to be any second? Oh, I can just feel it. My head's foggy and I didn't feel like this before I fucking pressed record. Oh my God, it's the weirdest feeling. But you guys know what I'm talking about. If you're a channeler too, rebirth, the death and rebirth. End is the beginning. The beginning is the end. Justice. Mm, mm, mm. So we have Scorpio and Libra energy here, but this justice is getting exactly what you fucking deserve. This is justice. And I almost just feel like she's smirking in the card. Like, it's like you get exactly what you wanted. You know what I mean? Like, that's just the feeling I get. I just feel like you're like smirking going, told you bitches. <laughs> you know what I mean? Told you. Told you. Three of cups and the eight of wands. That's communication again. There's some, look at him stressing about it, though, Five of Swords. I mean, yeah, they're stressing about it. They're nervous. Their head hurts. They're not quite sure what they're going to say. They're not quite sure what to make of this. They're nervous about taking a leap. This, is, this Three of Cups right here, too, there's something about the stars, written in the stars, some kind of star formation. You can see the constellation in the sky that they're all looking at. The de It's destined and faded. Something about the cosmic... Um, alignment right now. I mean, no bullshit too, right? Didn't Isn't that what it is? Mars and Venus are in Aquarius. They say that's when the lovers are supposed to reunite is when Mars and Venus are in Aquarius. And in fact, Mars goes into Pisces in a couple of weeks, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, that fucking time period lines the hell up. The moon again. Someone has a facade. See how it's almost like that looks like a shield. See, this is fully, fully submerged in the feelings and emotions. Someone's not showing that. I also feel like they're trying to catch the feminine off guard so that she falls. 
because I think if we are privy to information, we'll have our guards up just like this and they won't be able to penetrate. This is, this is the goal. They want to catch you off guard so that you can just fall. You fall in love. They're trying to catch you off guard. See, you don't see it coming. Two of swords. You're not going to see it coming. I swear to fucking God, it feels like for some of you, and this is not for all of you, for some of you, it's any fucking second. I mean, I can't say that enough. The sun, an awakening. The truth being revealed. Right? Look at how she's open to it. It's magnetism. The card is the happiest card in the whole entire fucking deck. But the sun, I've never noticed in this, I've never noticed this before and I've had this deck for years. It almost looks like a big yellow flower. When the, you can't make it up. What did I say? Flower doesn't dream of the bee. It blossoms and the bees come. This is being fully bloomed. Because you're now fully awakened or whatever this is, right? It, it, they are too. You, you mirror each other. Six of Wands, look at that victory. You're going to get everything you wanted. It's your time now. Some of you are in the public eye. Hierophant, an awakening. That's, I mean, Hierophant is basically the male version of the High Priestess. Ten of Cups. Fucking fairy tale. They're going to block you from seeing how this happens. The timing, who, why, what, when, where. See the ending, Ten of Swords. There's an ending of a cycle or a chapter here, and then the new one starts. That's why the death card was death and rebirth. The end is the beginning. The beginning is the end. Fuck, they're communicating. I can feel it, too. I don't want to panic, but I'm just like... Mm. I am not available. I couldn't let you get close to me. Yep, they tried to make themselves unavailable, try to be standoffish, aloof. It was my fault, but I blamed you. I knew exactly what I was doing. Take all these cards as they will, okay? These are not going to resonate for all of you, but whoever it's going to, it's going to hit you straight in the heart. You'll know if this is for you and your person. I hope that you can forgive me one day. You came closer than anyone. I regret lying to you. I'm so attracted to you. I replay our conversations over and over. I don't even know what the fuck I'm going to call this. Let's get into this extended already. We're going to do it on Patreon. If you don't follow me on Patreon already, click below this video the word more. Um, all my information is there. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is there. Um, also, click on the Patreon link if you're not already a patron, okay? Um, remember, on Patreon, I cannot use any sexual cards there, but I don't think we're going to need to. I, I don't know how it's going to go there. I'm going to be real honest with you, but that what does this tell me? This is significant change in the energy. This is a big fucking deal. It's a code glitter. Ring the bell. Here the fuck we go. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. I will see you in the extended on Patreon. Love you guys. Bye.